Oh, whoa. Do you see that? I think it's having a hard time like gripping onto my lashes. Hi guys, welcome to Emory Lane, where my goal is to find you the best beauty products for the best prices. And today, we're gonna be battling the new e.l.f. Big Mood Mascara versus the e.l.f. Lash It Loud Mascara. This is the request that I got in the comments, so thank you so much. If you ever have any ideas for any videos, let me know. There's only a dollar difference between these two, so of course we need to find out if you need to pay just a little bit more if you should go with the cheaper option. They're both really affordable, but you know what I mean. Let's get into it. Let's do the Lash It Loud on the right and the big mood on the left. We'll start out with the Lash It Loud. I feel kind of like blank without mascara, so let's get zoomed in. Oh, actually, before I start, I wanna say that I've been using a lash serum for a minute, so my lashes have gotten longer, but they're still super blonde, especially towards the ends. Can you tell that they're blonde? I don't know. So just beware. It might look like it's more lengthening than it is in real life on camera, I'm not sure, but I just wanted to throw that out there. It has kind of a thicker formula. It's what the wand looks like. like. A medium size, straight, no curve really, with like shorter plastic bristles. According to Elf's website, this mascara is volume that hits all the high notes. That's cute. It's formulated intensely with rich pigments to easily coat lashes for a bigger, bolder look. A sleek, flexible wand hugs every single lash with both vertical and horizontal bristles to amplify, define, and add dimension. And it retails for $6 on their website. And as of right now, it has 140 reviews with 4.2 stars. So, you know, a handful of people are starting to like it. Okay, that's one coat. It's doing a decent job. I wouldn't say it's like crazy, life-changing formula so far. Let's go into the second coat. That's a little better. We're getting a little clumpy at the end with the second coat. That wasn't really happening as much with the first. I mean, like it's decent. There's just nothing necessarily like, super wrong with it. Like I said, there are there's a little bit of, like clumpies at the end of my lashes. Well, on a couple of them, it's not every single one. The second coat, it's like kind of balling up just a tiny, tiny bit. I only got a tiny bit on my lids though, so that's good. I mean, it's kind of harder to get it on your lids with this kind of wand, but it's me, so anything's possible. Let's get this out of the package. Oh, wow, it's a lot bigger. <laughs> Look at these. This one's so much thicker. They wanted this to be chunky, didn't they? Oh, whoa. Do you see that? you see what's happening there? This is also a very thick formula. Let's get rid of some of that. This reminds me a ton of the Lash Paradise Mascara wand. So let's see if we get similar results. I'm really curious. Okay, and then according to Elf's website, this mascara plumps and lifts your lashes all day. A smooth, creamy formula infused with a hobo oil wax to hold a lash's curl. It's effortless application in one stroke. It has an hourglass shaped brush head to separate and define lashes, smudge and flake resistance. Oops. Oh, this one's a little bit more messy. <laughs> And it comes in two different colors, which I guess is not normal for Elf. Yeah, it retails for $7. And it's brand new, so it only has four reviews, but it has four and a half stars. So those four people really like it. Okay, so there's one coat. I feel like it's having a hard time, like, gripping onto my lashes. It's a thicker formula, but it's super light. Maybe the second coat will make a difference. But as of right now, I'm, like, wondering why it's having a hard time getting onto my lashes. There we go. That's better. I'm gonna clean up, especially this side of my face a little bit. I'll be right back. Okay, let's talk about both of these. First off, I want to say the Mood Mascara did a really, really good job defining my lashes. Like, it looks like I have a million of them compared to this side. Not saying that there isn't a lot of volume on this side, it just looks like I have more lashes on this side. It's really, really hard to get the product on your lashes though. I don't know why. Maybe it's like on purpose so you can like keep the definition and things don't start clumping together. Like, it took a minute for me to be able to actually get it on there and it was like, normally by the second coat, I don't have to spend nearly as long as I did on the first coat, but now I spend about the same amount of time on both. With this one, once like the second coat started going on, I could see the volume by a lot. Even though it took a second longer though, I think I prefer the mood one as of right now. I might change my mind though. They both look really good. This one does remind me of the Lash Paradise in a way, but I feel like it's even more defined than Lash Paradise. I feel like Lash Paradise clumps together just a little bit more. The Lash Out Loud, I feel kind of just like a normal volumizing mascara. Like it's 
good. It's not anything necessarily special. Again, as of right now, we'll see how this wears. They're both good. It's currently 12.04 right now. I'm gonna do a 12 hour wear test with these. I wanna see, does it flake? Does it smudge? Does it transfer onto my lids? I have a serious issue with that. If it's gonna happen to someone, it's gonna happen to me. Super hot outside today. So like, will it melt in the heat? I'm gonna do a check in halfway throughout the day in natural lighting to see if anything is popped up or gotten weird or if we're like still good to go. So I'll see you in just a second. Okay, I'm trying to like cover up <laughs> the damage that's happened. It's currently six o'clock and this is what's happened. You can see on this side, there's some pretty intense stripes. On this side, they're not as dark, but they're wider. <laughs> so we got, we got more thinner stripes that are darker and then lighter stripes that are wider. But we both got transfer on either side, which the mood one, they talked about how it wasn't supposed to flake or transfer or anything like that. But Lash It Loud didn't necessarily promise all that. You just don't want it to ever do that. <laughs> There's been no flaking on either side though. And it's probably transferred within the last maybe hour-ish. So it wasn't something that happened immediately. And this happens really, really bad to me, especially right after I perm my lashes, which I did yesterday. So this isn't necessarily a big, huge deal breaker for me. It might be for you if this is something that's common for you and you try to avoid it at all costs. <laughs> I did powder my eyes, but I didn't use primer, I forgot. So that might be part of it. I didn't use eyeshadow primer. If this isn't an issue for you, still so far so good. If it is, I don't know if you live like either of these necessarily. I'm kind of bummed, but I'm gonna clean everything up with a spoolie and then we'll see if it happens again or if this is just a one-time thing. So I'll see you at the end of the day. It's 12.07 right now. It's been about 12 hours and we're looking kind of like a mess, but I feel like one side looks a little bit worse than the other at this point. I feel like there's more like smudging going on across all of my crease on the Lash It Loud side versus on the Mood side. It's just like right here in the middle. So if you want to get technical, they smudge less, but honestly they smudge. Like if you have issues with that, then neither of these are for you. So let's take away that. If that's not normally an issue for you, let's talk about if which one's better that way. I personally think that the Mood Mascara is better even though it's a little bit more hard to get the product on your lashes. Once it is on your lashes, it just looks fanned out and detailed and it's like almost not quite like false lashes, but like that you're kind of getting there a lot more and I feel like they're just more noticeable from a distance and up close. And it's not like this side's bad, but like it feels a lot more just like your average mascara, whereas this mascara just seems like so much more unique. I personally like the shape of the wand a lot better in this one than in this one. I feel like you can get a lot more fluffy look with this, the mood versus this where it's just like kind of clumping the lashes together. So if you're trying to decide between the two, you don't have issues with smudging, I would definitely go with the mood. If you want to see a battle between the brand new Elf Acne Fighting Putty Primer versus one of their most popular matte putty primers, you can click right here. I will link everything I talked about in the description box below. Those links are affiliate links, so I do get a small percentage of the profits if you use the link to buy the product, but it does not affect you in any way. I love you guys so much, and never forget that you are enough. Bye!